Hi everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. So this is where I sit in my infrared sauna with different colors of light therapy and I sweat it out and detox and meditate and relax and it's amazing how good it feels in here. It's like, it's hard to describe because you don't feel hot. You just feel like, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a really interesting feeling. I'm not really one to get in a regular sauna and I, I can't even stand a regular sauna actually in this the moment I get in it, it feels fantastic. <sighs> anyway, um, I have been doing a series in here about the 12 spiritual laws because when I get in here, I really like to talk about things that I can use to help me be a better person because man, the shit is intense. We're coming up on a big fat full moon lunar eclipse and um, all sorts of astrological are happening to really create um, and transform our lives because it's like a big huge turning point and we've been dealing with all of this energy all of 2018 and even before but especially in 2018 we really had to make some difficult choices and to, to really like have to deal with um, transitions and all sorts of stuff and so it's really the final final time to get rid of all the garbage in your life that doesn't serve you anymore and to get rid of everything that brings you down and that holds you back and that is negative and that is not productive and it sucks which I have done. <laughs> and so doing these 12 spiritual laws for me has really, really been important. And yesterday I know I digressed into just immense sadness because I was subject to some fucking asshole bullshit. I'm going to take my words actually right now. I'm going to see, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to Practice what I preach and try to think about every single thing that I say. Okay, so yesterday I just allowed a lot of negativity to come into my aura and my energy field, my heart. And, you know, studying these spiritual laws is really helping me because I would have probably been down the floor for a lot longer than I was yesterday had I not really been, you know, doing the work. Right. And so that's what we have to do, because even though I do, you know, spiritual things for a living and for 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 my own life all the time, I'm still human and I still get bogged down. And 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 there are people out there and demons, like I said, that really will set out to take you down. You know, I think that's what their goal is. So today I'm back on track. Friday. I'm happy because the weekend's going to be spectacular. It's been raining cats and dogs in California for like two weeks. Hardcore rain. So I've been pretty much housebound because there's no point in going out in torrential downpours. And tomorrow the sun or this afternoon, the sun's coming out and the rain is gone. And so I'm pretty stoked about the weekend. All right. And I'm going to regroup and take time for myself and be happy. And so that brings me to today's spiritual law, which is the law of attraction. And I'm sure most everybody has heard about the law of attraction, which is, you know, all the spiritual laws are really important. And for some reason, this law has made, you know, sort of the mainstream, but really they're all important and they're all intertwined together. And they're all similar in getting across the fact that we really have to remain positive. Right? And so when the dark comes in and tries to bring you down, that's the opposite of what we want to do. Right? So the law of attraction is about, which a lot of, you know, most of the laws are about the same sort of stuff, but, you know, with minor differences, is that everything is energy. All your thoughts, all your feelings, all your words, all your deeds, everything is energy. And so everything that you're thinking, feeling, speaking, whatever, is creating energy that's going to attract the same energy right and so it's super duper important that your beliefs and your image of yourself and your whoa <laughs> your image of yourself and your image of your life your picture of your ideal life stays at the forefront right 
because everything you think is going out as energy to attract the same type of energy. So for example, if I were to allow myself to believe all the garbage that so-and-so tried to lay on me yesterday that was very negative and very horrifying, you know, I if I allowed that belief system to enter my actual consciousness and, and embrace it in any way, then I would be attracting that same sort of stuff. I, I would be like down and going nowhere. And so um, it's really important to hold firm in your conscious mind and in your subconscious mind by doing meditations and envisioning and meditating about your perfect life and what you really want to see and manifest in your life is so important to hold that vision so that that energy goes out into the universe and brings back all that positivity, right? huge. So while this is the most um, well known, I would say of the spiritual laws, you know, the law of attraction, all the laws are important. So it's really good to understand all of them from start to finish. So I hope everybody subscribes and I hope everybody really tries to do this work with me. You know, even if you see these videos later, um, because you can actually really transform your life for the better and really manifest everything that your hearts desire and feel good you know it's it's also about just really feeling good in your world and having gratitude man gratitude is one of the most powerful things you can do to manifest positivity in your life you know you can take your day or your moment and fe be feeling bad and and i tell people all the time because people come to me asking for advice control your mind really it's like working out you've got to do the work your mind cons consistently puts out energy and chatter and mind chatter that's not always positive usually it's filled with worry or anxiety because the world is heavy right now and so it's super easy just to be caught up in that mind chatter but that mind chatter is every moment manifesting your life every moment Okay, so take your mind chatter and flip it, flip the script and always make it positive. One thing that I used to do, and, I, and I'm going to start doing it again because it really helps. It, and it mainly helps, you know, in the, in the spiritual community, they talk about um, mantras and that's repeating things over and over to manifest. But just doing a mantra by itself is not going to manifest everything in your life. You have to do a lot of stuff I and mean, all these spiritual laws are part of it to really manifest, right? But the thing that mantras do, and I used to drive in my car or whatever I was doing where I was just, where my mind chatter was taking over and I was getting anxiety or whatever it was. And I created a really short, really easy mantra that I repeated over and over and over and over primarily to shut my mind up so that I didn't have all these free floating thoughts going out in the universe to bring back more anxiety and more negativity, right? My mantra, and please feel free to use it, is I am healthy, wealthy, wise, and worthy. And literally I've just repeated over and over and over and over and over. So my mind chatter shut the hell up and it was replaced with this beautiful mantra. And in the end, I didn't have that negative mind chatter as much almost at all. Lately, it's gotten more intense because it's intense as hell right now. And the energy is so intense. The astrology is so intense, but it's the universe asking us to finally get it together and to finally make the conscious decision to be more positive so that we can bring the vibration up from our, of ourselves and in turn, help everybody else raise their vibration. Okay. So I let go of all that negativity from yesterday. Not even going to mention it anymore after this. And I'm so grateful. I am so grateful, number one, to have my sauna because it makes me feel so good and I feel so clean after and detoxed after. And I burn a lot of calories in here just meditating, which is fantastic. Um, but to be able to talk and get all this information that I need to hear out Number one, speaking is a huge, powerful way to manifest, right? And then going back and re-listening to it 
I remember and then it goes in my subconscious mind. It's just all part of being a conscious creator in this heavy, heavy dimension. Because what happens is that the permeating energy that's all around can literally overwhelm us like a wave and just wash us away. And I don't know, I mean, I kind of believe that we're in a spirit, I do believe this, that we're in a spiritual war and the dark will try to take us all down as a human species. I believe that. I believe there are demons all around and it's, you've got to use these tools to keep your vibration high because guess what? Lower vibrations have no power over you when you're in a high vibratory state of joy or gratitude or any of those things or forgiveness, you know, but when you allow the dark to take over like anger or, you know, and when somebody comes at you with such negativity and trying to hurt you, it's so easy to just want to lash back out. But all that energy is also so negative. So it keeps you in this negative spiral and it brings your vibration down. And then the dark can literally take you down. Okay. So I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful for my life. I'm so grateful for YouTube. I'm so grateful for my understanding of this energy and these laws and my ability to, you know, help them make them work in my life. And I'm really grateful for anybody out there that is looking at the, that are looking at these videos and hopefully learning because I do believe that it's absolutely critical for us all to try to raise our vibration to help the planet raise up and defeat the darkness literally defeat the dark really the only way to do that is if the whole human species raises up and raises their vibration you know and there will be those that won't and there are those already that are possessed by demon energy and dark energy that are never going to come out of it and that's just what's happening right now so i'm grateful and i'm joyful and i'm gonna have a wonderful hive fantastic time this weekend. I might even go to the snow. I had some videos that I was going to edit into my last trip to Big Bear, but I didn't get a chance because it takes a long time. <laughs> ah, anyway, I know I'm rambling. It's like 12 minutes, blah, but thanks so much for listening. Blessings to everybody. I'm in green light today because I really felt like I needed a physical healing and a heart chakra clearing after all that business yesterday. And so, um, and that's where, that's where your, a lot of your joy and all of that comes from your heart chakra. So having a clear heart chakra that's not heavy, super important. And green is a really powerful cleanser of the heart chakra. Whew. So thank you so much for tuning in. Blessings to everybody. Please reach out if you need help. I'm happy to be of service, give spiritual advice, and even give short readings if you're really suffering. I'm happy to do it. I want to help. I want to be there. And I am so grateful for all everyone that sees these videos and it takes this information to heart okay so <gasps>